Hey guys, welcome back to another AI episode. Today, what I wanna do is take a closer look at one of my favorite text to video or image to video AI generation tool right now, and that is Runway. On today's episode, we are gonna take a close that the company just recently announced about, or earlier this month, that they updated their Gen 2 uh, to kind of imp have improved results when using text to video. So I wanted to kind of ch check it out, see if I noticed any difference. Uh, I have over, I wanna say probably 15 prompts here Outside of that, we've also seen that we've seen a, a nice growth in other types of image generators like Dali recently appeared. So I want to kind of bring some of those tools to Runway um, because they do have kind of that image to video generator as well. So I kind of really want to showcase my overall results and experience with this. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. Uh, so again, for those that are not familiar, Runway is the platform that I'm going to be talking about. They do have a free version and a paid version. Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just really do enjoy Runway right now. Uh, even though I do believe the video AI generation tool still has much to grow. Uh, so just for those that are pros to Runway, you might want to be, you might want to see what settings I have on. So I have interpolate on, upscale on, remove watermark, and forms of camera motion I have pretty much random. Um, if you're not familiar in the runway, you can actually choose what type of movement you want the camera to do and what kind of speed. Five is usually that the video should have at least some average amount of speed. The higher, the more speed you get, the lower, the more still the film is. Uh, if you don't kind of pick a movement, the tool will kind of choose a random for you. Uh, so let's just take a closer look at the prompts I have. Uh, so this is the prompt I use, a sleek spaceship gliding past a purple nebula with swirling gas clouds and newborn stars illuminating the dark expanse. So in Runway, when you first put a prompt, they give you a preview of four different images and how the kind of video would go from there. Um, I do want to say the images that I get off the bat are pretty impressive. I do believe all of these hit the mark with what I was looking for. So I do believe their image generator tool is pretty amazing. Uh, I want to say this is probably comparable to some of the top players out there, like maybe Dali, like maybe Mid Journey, right? So we can see definitely some cool cases. So the one I ended up choosing was the bottom right, and I get a four second generation. And I Obviously, I can extend this. They do have a tool where you can extend it to even 16 seconds. Um, but I just wanted to kind of showcase the first four seconds. And I do believe this is this is probably one of my favorites at the moment. We could see a nice kind of depiction of the uh, of the kind of spacecraft and kind of moving through the nebula. Uh, so I do believe it was a huge success. Like I mentioned, I still believe we're still plenty of months, maybe even years away from creating some 4K videos. Um, but right now, the results are pretty impressive in certain scenarios. In the scenario where I believe we have an object, maybe some cloud and some stillment, uh, we do see some great results like we saw here. Um, next, I wanted to kind of put a panda wearing a suit about to dunk a basketball. Again, when we take a closer look at the images that it gives me for previews, it does really well. Um, I ended up choosing the top left and uh, it's interesting, right, to say the least. Uh, I do wanna say the results gave me some pretty cool movements. It obviously didn't finish, but we do see the panda um, can see kind of moving. So overall, it, it stayed with the theme and it understood the assignment somewhat. Obviously, some uh, it can improve from there. Now, I, I want to say this is where mid journey and I want to say image to videos or text to videos generate generations are super. Um, strong or, or, or where they really show their strength is when you have a scenery, right? So here, I actually, my prompt was, what is the capital of the United States? And it ended up giving me these four images, right? And I ended up choosing the top right. And I wanna say, again, for scenery, the, it looks amazing. You can see they do really good with the cloud movements. Here we can even see the flag moving from time to time. And you might even see some movement in the water. So I do believe when you have some form of scenic um, image, uh, um, runway does really, really well. I do believe this is when um, runway really shines, especially with the cloud and simple movement like flags. Uh, so again, this is probably one of my favorites that we've seen so far. Uh, and I do believe it maintains, it's gonna be one of my top uh, from the overall prompts that I have. Obviously, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I wanted to say, hey, look, a schematic of a Star Wars X-Wing. So it kind of understood the assignment. It understands what an X-Wing is to some extent. Uh, so it gave me some pretty cool ones. I ended up choosing 
it, but it doesn't know that I was looking more like a schematic, right? I wanted more like a blueprint of it. Uh, I ended up choosing the top, the bottom right, right? And um, again, nothing too crazy. You do see some very small movement. Um, Again, I chose movement five. I wonder maybe later on I should do one with movement 10 to see how the difference is of some high, high movements and maybe then another one with movement zero. Um, if I actually have done a video like that in the past prior to the update, um, remember this update is increasing the vi uh, the text uh, to video generation tool. So that's where I really want to test out. Um, but if you want to learn a little bit more about their motion control, I'll post the link up here so you guys can check that out next. Um, um, so next, I put a high-speed yellow sports car racing down a city highway at night with skyscrapers and neon billboards in the background in a photorealistic. And again, I want to say, look at these images. The images are great. And this is why I believe I'm a little excited about in, um, video to generation or AI generation video tools AI video generation tools, because right now imaging is getting amazing, right? We're getting some clear, crazy pictures here from runway. Maybe the video is still a little bit on the wacky side, but we are getting some improvements. And I do believe first we start with the improvements of images and work our way up to videos. So I do believe there's huge potential here for runway. I actually enjoyed all four images, so I wanted to test them out. Unfortunately, not much movement happens or sometimes we get kind of a shift in scene. Here we have something pretty, pretty quiet, right? Um, nothing really changes. I do believe the only thing we saw was more lightning. Uh, you see like the lights here kind of flicko back to kind of bring some realist, uh, more like realistic output of this image, right? It's no longer an image. You get kind of, you can see here the lights kind of flicker on and off and same here and same here. So it brings the image to life one way or another, but the car is not speeding. Here's another one. Um, again, you, what you really do see is kind of a, a change in lighting. Um, nothing too crazy. I really would have wished for the car to start moving. Um, I was actually a little bit more hopeful in this one. We do see it move from time to time. And again, this, this is why I'm saying things are gonna improve over time. I, I think this is pretty great. Obviously, you kind of lose some in the in, in, during the video, uh, the quality of the image, um, but I could say this one works really, really well if I was kind of creating some form of car video super quick. So I'm really excited how that turned out. And this one would probably would have been pretty cool if I extended to maybe 16 seconds. Sometimes it actually gave me some random ones, I believe here, it actually shifts into a whole different image, but that's it, it, it does it pretty cleanly. Um, if maybe I was just kind of showcasing different cars, different yellow cars, uh, again, it's not what I wanted, but it does look pretty cool and the transition was pretty clean as well. Now I kind of wanted to ask another question. Hey, look, what has two wheels and moves? And it gave me a few randoms. It gave me a bike um, and motorcycles. And I actually, I believe I clicked the top two, um, the top level two, right? So the first one was kind of the person in the motorcycle. Nothing changes. It, it kind of does another transition, right? So I do believe this could bode well for maybe if I was doing a motorcycle commercial or something where it originally starts with the scene kind of showcasing the bike and then it goes to more of a tranquility scene of the bike as well. So this one looks pretty cool. Then if we take a closer look at here at the bike, it kind of zooms into the bike and kind of does a rotation. Obviously you lose out on the image quality, but again, I do believe these videos are getting a lot and a lot better. Um, next, if we take a closer look, a silver train traveling through a stormy landscape with passengers looking out at the dark clouds and torrential rain. Uh, so um, again, I just wanna keep emphasizing this. The images that it gives me are pretty insane. I do believe these are all that I could, uh, if you were to tell me these were stills from a movie, I would completely, completely believe it. And it's kind of, it really understands what I want. It gives me the train, it gives me that stormy landscape, it gives me the dark clouds, uh, and in some of them, it gives me the rain, right? So I ended up picking a, a two, I ended up picking this one here, uh, because I do believe it kind of, the train is kind of moving here, uh, so maybe it can give me a better landscape. And then the other one I chose was this, because you actually see the front of the train and some of the storms in the back or some of the clouds. Um, so overall, I mean, this one looks pretty interesting. Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, again, I do believe video to 
video generation tools are have a long way to go, uh, but we do see some improvements here and some nice results. This one, I, again, this one is probably one of my favorites. I do believe right now clouds, and when you have something scenic, something still, like a, like a scenery uh, image, does really well. Obviously, you kind of see the extension of the train, um, but it does kind of showcase the train moving and the clouds moving. So I really, really like this um, a lot. What else do we have here? So next, we have a blue moon rising over a tranquil lake casting yellow reflection on the water surrounded by silhouettes of whipping willows. Again, when you look at these images, I want to say these, uh, if you were to tell me these were professionally made, um, I, I, I wouldn't kind of, I wouldn't argue against you. Uh, so I chose this one. And again, when you get with the still images, it does really well. You can see the weeping willows kind of moving through the wind. I really like that a lot. You kind of get this kind of nice scenic place. Here's another one. Again, you see the weeping willows just moving through through with the wind. Uh, and you see kind of the reflection of the light kind of shifting here and there. Uh, so these are pretty good when you go with that scenic way. So I do believe that is the strength of of AI gener AI video generator tools right now. Next, we have a cyberpunk cowboy in the style of colorful fantasy realism, post-apocalyptic landscapes. Um, and, and you can see the overall prompt here. Again, the images look pretty cool. You can again tell me this was a, a, a nice movie about a cowboy in a post-apocalyptic world, uh, especially here with this horse and nothing happening in the background of this one as well. Here, I mean, Nothing too crazy. You kind of just get a little bit of movements in the eyes and the nose. Again, right now we do have the motion five. Uh, so I wonder if I have motion set to 10, we probably would get a little bit better results. Here you kind of get, uh, again, you just kind of get a change of scene, uh, zooming in. Um, but again, you do see that shift in the kind of image quality. Uh, so next, what I want to do, I have a few more. So a dark forest with the luminescent undead horse in the style of a detailed character design. Uh, so all these horses look pretty cool in the undead style. Um, again, some nice scenic. So here, I really like this one. You kind of see the shift of scene. When you have a steel image and a nice scenic background, I do believe this is where these video quality, video tools shine. Um, here you have another shift here. Um, something offset, I wonder if I would generate it again, it would give me better results. But you can kind of see that they want to have the leaves moving, the leaves and bushes are moving here. And that subtle movement of the horse looks pretty realistic in my opinion. Uh, so if, I'm pretty sure if we run this prompt a little bit more times, we can get some pretty nice results. Uh, next, I wanted a downtown intersection with bustling traffic, Pixar style animated. And it doesn't seem to understand animation as a text prompt. It gave me more realistic images. Again, if I'm uh, these look like if I was watching a movie right now. I ended up picking this one because we do see a lot of movement here. I wanted to see what it does. And if we take a closer look, it kind of does more like a zoom out um, with high exposure here. And then here when you see a lot of cars just driving by, it just kind of does a nice zoom in and out. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, obviously, if we would have generated this a bit more, maybe we would get one with the cars moving. But I just picked the first generation to really not nitpick of what the platform was giving me. Next, I wanted to do a kitten Pixar style animated cartoon. I wanted to add a cartoon. Maybe it would help out with understanding what Pixar style was or what animated style was, but it didn't. It, it gave me some pretty cool kittens, right? Some cute kittens here. I chose the one on the top left. Um, and we do see some subtle movements here. Nothing too crazy. But even if, let's say, I just wanted the last two seconds after that deformation. So from right here, you do see a nice movement of the kitten, the mouth moving. I think that can be used really well. Um, so I wanted to do redo video with image to video, right? So those, the ones that we were just looking at, all of those were just pure text prompts that I got all of this. And again, that's why I believe we're getting a lot better with these tools. This was text to image. Now I wanted to kind of try image to video. Uh, so for example, my last prompt, I did a kitten Pixar style animated cartoon and the image was taken from Dali and this was the image. Now this one here blows my mind, guys. I do believe when we take a closer look at maybe a single character in very, very high focus, that's where runway is gonna shine. And later on, I might do a video of that, of just scenic, scenic views like we saw with the Washington DC and maybe with the train. 
and or ones with a highly focused um, character. Uh, because look at this one. This one blows my mind. I think this one is completely insane. I could see this being used in any type of animated tools. So if you ever want to show, bring some form of character to life, Again, make it probably like 50, 60% of the image and just have a very, very simple background where the tool knows what it needs to focus on. It needs to focus on that kitten. Um, let's see what else we have. If we take a closer look at next, I wanted to see if the text, because you can actually also have an image. So first was just text. Next was image, but you can also do an image and a description. So this was one of the ones with the blue moon. Uh, and I wanted to try two things, sunrise and sunset, to see if the generation tool can kind of either push the sun or the moon going up and the moon going down. Unfortunately, it doesn't know the difference or it didn't give me that on the first try. Um, this was supposed to be sunrise, I believe. You do see the sun getting or the moon get a little bit brighter and brighter so maybe that's what it was doing this one was supposed to be sunset um, i don't know if it's actually moving down it could be into interpretation but again you do see this movement in the water here right you see that strong reflection of the light as well and you definitely bring image to this you, you do bring life to this image right and this great video in my opinion can be used in a lot of different places I want to say out of all of them, my favorite, favorite one was probably this one, a kitten Pixar style animated. Um, so it was image to video. Uh, but we do see some strong growth in the text, which was kind of what this main purpose of this video was. Overall, the text, um, when you do a text prompt here in Runway, the overall starting image are, are a lot better than they used to be. Again, here we can see some crazy, crazy pictures. So I am excited to see where maybe the future of Runway happens, where we do see some improvements in the video quality. Even though this one right here was pretty crazy when we take a closer look at the horse. The only thing I do want to say, and it's pretty ex expensive, Runway to me only makes sense if you're really using the unlimited version uh, because then you can have as many videos as you want and you don't really have to... Um, you don't really have to worry about your credits. But this is super, super expensive. I'm pretty sure most people use the 12, um, but 625 credits, that only equals about 125 seconds or 125 image generations. That might not be enough for people. Um, but overall, I really do enjoy Runway and the Unlimited is my version that I used. Uh, and if you're really focused on creating maybe some cool tools um, and just want to test out the platform, maybe the Unlimited might be the plan for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.